Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'll be going over the oscillator section in Serum. This is a basic rundown of, you know, what you're looking at. You have oscillator A and oscillator B, and uh, we're going to be dealing with this window right here, just focusing on uh, one oscillator. You'll notice that you have a window here, which is showing which, you know, that's basically an oscilloscope, and it's saying, okay, this is a saw wave, and we can verify that it's a saw wave right here. Um, this is the default. You start out with a saw, which is, you know, it's, you know, has a fundamental and has harmonics. That's what a saw is. Uh, you can cycle through and uh, go through all of your uh, wave tables. Now, there's a difference. We're just going to touch on this briefly. But say, you know, this is a cycle right here. And the wave table would be, you click on it, and it'll have multiple frames 256 frames which it's it cycles through so there's frames and then like the entire wave table which is this whole thing right here right so yeah that's basically how it works we're going to be getting into that um more in depth a little bit later it's very robust anyway that's how you go through them it's not like well it is so say if you wanted to have it like basic moog so uh, this will kind of cycle through when your wavetable position will cycle through a triangle to a saw to a pulse square and then another pulse right uh, and yeah so let's uh, kind of go back here all right so you have your octave which will switch the pitch up or down you have your semitone so you can get like fifths going on you stack that with an oscillator B. Your fine tune, which will detune it slightly in sense. Right? And what I'm doing is I'm I'm hitting a control and clicking to reset the value. And this is coarse and there's no stepping. So you can get like lasers. Right? So you can modulate that. This is the edit button, so you can click on that and you can edit the wavetable. Uh, or frame, we'll get into that a little bit later. You have a unison, which will take what you have here and stack it, um, and then detune and blend are all kind of together. So we'll have blend at zero. So we'll stack them up. You'll see, and it's kind of it's getting wider, and you can go up to 16 times unison, which stacks it up 16 times. So we'll go to, just for the sake of figuring it out, we'll blend, oh, we'll, we'll detune, right? So it takes the left and right, stacks it, and then pans it left and right, and then we'll do that, we'll have more of that, so say, so see, we have, um, with this one, we have the center, and then we have f uh, two on each side, making it, you know, wide or we can have two in the center and this is different kind of stacking and then we can blend so we can have just the center with a little bit of side or have them roughly equal that's right so we can get like a saw right and that's seven seven times unison so we'll go back down here phase is where the the sound will kind of start playing so you can really hear that when you have your unison on right so we'll turn randomness down so randomness you see how that closes that closes the probability of it starting in that one area so we'll set it to zero and the phase will start here and we can really hear it if we do that so now they're stacked so they're all starting at the same time all seven and if we kind of detune it right they're all kind of starting at the same time right and if we you know boost the randomness they'll each voice will start at a different time at a random time so that's good and that's good if like you have another kind of oscillator running and you want these two to be kind of synced 
right? So we have uh, oscillator A and oscillator B set like so, right? And we can adjust the phase of oscillator B. These are both saws. And see? Adjust the phase, and that's good for like a, a low end bass line. And you want it to be the same kind of it, more of a consistent bass line and not so analog. So it'll like a re-trigger. If we have random on, right? It all starts at you know different times in the bass and like for a bass or whatever, it won't sound consistent. Anyway, that's a basic rundown of what phase and random does just does all that wavetable position so say we have uh, the default saw adjusting the wavetable position doesn't really do much we have to go to say you know we can go to basic shapes and we can cycle through so we have sine saw triangle uh square pulse and then more of a pulse or a inverted triangle square, right? So it's all right, and they snap, and you can click on this, and you can see how it does that. There's no like crossfade between them. If we go to say a digital or a we'll go spectral monster by Seamless, what's up? We have a very complex wavetable, which is 256 frames all cycling through so so you can get like talking stuff and that's what the wavetable position does um the warping uh we're going to get into a little bit later but it's the ability to uh bend so we'll go basic shape to Sign. This ability to bend and pinch the uh, the single cycle, which uh, is a you know pretty good effect, and you can adjust the the symmetry, right, and do all sorts of fun stuff. Pan, of course, you know, panning it left and right. These are stereo. Well, they can be when they go out filter stereo, but these are mono. But you can adjust the unison and do all sort all sorts of stuff. Right. And then the level. Um, and the level is automatically mapped to envelope one. You got to remember that. It's just like massive. Um, the, the the amplitude is already mapped to envelope one. Um, and pretty much that is the basic rundown of the oscillator section. There's a lot you can get into. You can get into like actually, you know, drawing stuff in and uh, creating your own shapes, right? And uh, doing all sorts of fun stuff and adding frames to build your wavetable and then morphing in between, go spectral and then, and all that. Uh, but uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, yeah, <sighs> that was difficult. Um, hope, uh, hope you learned some stuff. Uh, we'll be back with some more stuff.